Hello everybody and welcome to another GCSE Geography Help video. This week we're looking at Flood Control Soft Engineering. So, last week we looked at Flooding Hard Engineering. This week we're going to look at the other side, Soft Engineering. So, last week we had this table and on the Hard Engineering side we added where what hard, hard engineering is, which is to change the river using man-made technology and what it's used for, which is usually to stop flooding of human settlements. So this week we're going to try and fill in the other half. So, what is soft engineering? Well again I went to Wikipedia and it says it's the it's to use uh, it's, about new, it's the the use of ecological principles and practices to reduce the erosion and achieve stabilisation and safety of shorelines we're not looking at that bit and the area surrounding rivers whilst enhancing the habitat and, and improving anaesthetics and saving money so what that actually means is a cheap compared to hard engineering form of flood protection that works with the environment so our first example is afforestation. This is basically the planting of lots of trees on floodplains. The trees suck up water using their roots from the ground and reduce the amount of water in a river at a set point. This in turn decreases the risk of a flood. So back to the table. So now we can add to the soft engineering side what it is, which is a cheap compared to hard engineering form of flood protection that works with the environment. So, it's quite a quick one. What have we looked at this week? We've looked at flood control, soft engineering. Dick. And next week is going to be the last video of the series and it will be a final recap of everything we've looked at. See you then. Bye.